Everyone knows that university students don't always make the best decisions. With constant deadlines, midterms, and the occasional existential crisis, it's no wonder that we turn to caffeine to keep us awake and to alcohol to take the edge off every now and then. But how much do people really know about mixing the two? I was wondering the same thing. So I set off on a mission to determine just how much people know about mixing caffeine and alcohol. How often do you drink caffeine? Uh, like every day. Almost never, to be honest. Probably like once a week. Do you ever mix the two? Yeah, sometimes. Uh, no, not intentionally. Do you think that caffeine is a stimulant or depressant? I think it's a stimulant. It's a stimulant, right? Stimulant. Do you think that alcohol is a stimulant or depressant? I think it's a uh, depressant. It's gotta be depressant, right? Definitely depressant. The central nervous system, which is made up of the brain and the spinal cord, is affected by caffeine and alcohol in different ways. Caffeine is a stimulant, which means that it speeds up the connections to and from the brain. That's why when people drink caffeine, they tend to be more on the go than usual. Caffeine also increases your heart rate and blood pressure and narrows your blood vessels. Alcohol, on the other hand, is a depressant, which means that it slows down the rate of connections to and from your brain. That's why when people drink alcohol, they tend to be a little bit drowsy. Alcohol also decreases your blood pressure and heart rate. What do you think happens when you mix caffeine and alcohol? Nothing. I don't know, they gotta like cancel each other out, right? This makes sense. What happens when I mix them? Bad things. <laughs> a common misconception is that taking a stimulant and depressant together will result in them canceling each other out. However, the opposite is actually true. The typical effects of these are reduced leading to some believing that they need to take more to get a buzz. While you may not feel drunk, your body is still absorbing the alcohol when you mix it with caffeine. If this is a long-term habit, your kidneys and liver can face serious damage. While you may not feel the effects of mixing the two, these effects tend to linger longer than they would had you only had one. Similarly, when the effects wear off, you will feel them more intensely than you would had you only taken one of them. This often comes in form of a severe hangover or exhaustion. I wanted to find out what more people thought about this, so I created a survey and shared it on my social media. Here are the results. So I got 94 respondents from my survey, which was pretty cool. So looking at these bar graphs, almost all of the respondents do consume caffeine and alcohol. And it turns out that the majority of them do mix them. Most of the respondents got it right, thinking that caffeine is a stimulant, as well as alcohol being a depressant. Now that we know that so many of them do mix the two, and that they do know that they're a stimulant and a depressant, why do they mix them? After looking at the results from my survey, it seems that most university students frequently consume caffeine and alcohol on a regular basis. Although there is no specific threshold for caffeine addiction, professionals report that drinking more than two cups of coffee per day can result in withdrawal symptoms when you stop drinking it. Additionally, the CDC reports that binge drinking, which can lead to alcoholism, is drinking more than seven drinks a week for women and 14 drinks per week for men. Now that we know more about the university student perspective about mixing caffeine and alcohol and how it affects people, we urge you to try to avoid mixing the two whenever possible. Although it may not feel like they're having an effect on you, they're still being processed by your kidneys and liver and can lead to serious damage to your organs in the future. So think twice before you mix caffeine and alcohol.